Hi, this is Dillis from CodeDiv.com. I'm the author here, and I want to help people who are trying to learn how to develop the web from scratch. Basically, you're a beginner who does not have technical background. You're just starting. You've been looking around, maybe trying out Code Academy. Maybe you can find some useful tips and tricks on my website. So take a look when you want to. And in this video, I want to and discuss and analyze the boot camp that I recently attended and graduated as the first black belt uh, after almost like 12 hours of qualification exams um, in different days on different days. So uh, this particular boot camp is called Coding Dojo. And you have to watch out it's called codingdojo.co so this one. And this one is based in Mountain View in the San Francisco Bay Area. Note, it is not San Francisco, so it's actually quite a commute if you're coming from San Francisco. But if you're in the South Bay, this is actually quite convenient for you. So, uh, let's see. Let's analyze it. So this is the location it's right off 101. Sometimes traffic can be bad. And, and this is Michael, the founder of Coding Dojo. So how it works... Um, is that um, one very tough feature, as I said, I am a, a qualified black belt, and, and there are many levels still to be done in black belt. So one well-designed feature in Coding Dojo is that you do have to take a qualification exam in order to get your belt certification. And now that is very hard and is very challenging at times, but it does give you quite a bit to talk about and uh, kind of pushes you to accomplish a lot in a short amount of time. So um, to be able to talk about the qualification exams that I've taken and what I'm capable to build um, in four hours chunk of time and um, has been rather valuable and I like it for my own learning style. But that is not to say it's for everyone. But if you look at the bootcamp schedule, nine weeks, pretty typical. Um, I believe uh, in terms of financial costs, this is relatively costless than other boot camps because it's relatively new. And if you look at the skill set that covers, it's pretty um, diverse. Uh, well, first, uh, it is the front end, HTML, CSS, jQuery, and Ajax. Note, JavaScript is not there. So if you really, really need to know JavaScript for your next job, Maybe Coding Dojo is not necessarily the one that is your first choice. Maybe Hack Reactor is better. Um, and then the scripting languages, which is PHP and Ruby. And because I've graduated from there, I also know they offer Python. And um, as the MVC framework of Ruby is Rails, they offer that. And Python, um, Django. Um, even though they don't offer JavaScript, but um, Coding Dojo does have some Node.js courses, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I haven't looked at those myself yet, but I will do a review later. Um, MySQL, database design, and that is something pretty unique about um, Coding Dojo that I quite like, is that they're not just foregoing MySQL, which is very, very widely used. Uh, previously, as a technology consultant, I know for sure MySQL is still one of the most widely used language and relational database is one of the most widely used architecture. So I think learning how to design your own database and write a few SQL queries is absolutely invaluable. OOP stands for object-oriented design or object-oriented programming. And I thought Michael had quite some good methods to teach that. I was rather interesting, um, so I thought that was an interesting design of the course. Uh, note, Code Igniter is basically the MVC framework for PHP. Now, this is a lot of language to cover in nine weeks, and plus you have to do projects and you have to take exams. Um, it has its pluses and minuses. One of the plus is that you get a diverse skill set. You may or may not know if Ruby is absolutely the language you love, or is it a PHP. You may like neither, 
but having fundamentals in multiple areas allow you to cement、uh, relatively abstract and difficult concepts of computer programming, and be able to get practice in multiple languages and essentially reinforce that knowledge. And hopefully later on after the class, you can figure out、um, whether、uh, this will be a good. Uh, this uh, is there a language that you would like to explore further?、Um, obviously, the downside of that is this is a lot to cover, and people have concerns about how much depth can you go into. For example, jQuery really got to know jQuery after this class, but JavaScript I've to learn completely on my own. I、uh, I feel like I spend a really good amount of time on code igniter, but a little less on Rails as I wanted. I think the landscape is changing a little bit right now, but just keep in mind,、uh, while Rails is covered, Rails is not、uh, as focused as dedicated a curriculum in Coding Dojo compared to Dev Bootcamp, for example.、Um, last but not least, what I really am very impressed with Coding Dojo is that、uh, Coding Dojo started very humbly with us as the first class. But、uh, obviously,、uh, Michael has done a little more than that to um, really um, kind of develop his curriculum. But what is really great is this guy you see here, Alex. He's been consulting for Coding Dojo and really bring some of the awesome entrepreneurs in the Silicon Valley and come talk to Coding Dojo students. So the blog is very useful because it has this very great. Videos and、um, it's building a great community. So I'm really glad Coding Dojo is、um, going strong at it.、Um, so、um, I'm able to offer a little more、um, insights on this particular bootcamp, but I do plan to、um, research all the bootcamps. And if you are looking forward to Taking a bootcamp, or you have already finished one, please check out my bootcamp survey at、uh, www dot code div dot com slash survey dot html, and this is a great place where you can ask questions, and you can give feedbacks about the bootcamps you have attended, and I will compile these data and made it available. To especially to those who participate at various degrees, to my subscriber, participants, and just gen generic users, I think some very interesting results will come from these data. Come from a, I myself come from an economics background at Stanford. I think I can offer some really valuable insights. So I do urge you to give me that data. Um, feel free to just put down your first name and email address. That will help me deliver the. Rewards and the data to you, and、uh, so you can take a look as a result as well.、Uh, thank you for listening.